Good morning, Suprabhatam, Namaste and greetings to all. My name is uh, Sunny. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today, to begin with uh, my first video, uh, I'm just going to go over a few basic uh, things of uh, what I use in a chart and uh, more specifically uh, going over the software Jagannatha Hora, uh, a few basic tips, how you can use it from uh, beginners to advanced and um, how you can get this and um, just how you can go about uh, uh, start reading off charts by yourself. Uh, I will tell you where to download it. I will show you uh, how you can uh, input the birth details and uh, looking at a chart, all the various options in there. So I thank uh, uh, PBR Narsimara sir for making this. Uh, it's, I think he's a Virgo ascendant, so it's very much uh, detailed oriented and a lot of details in there and a lot of options. Uh, very much to my liking. And uh, I like the software a lot. I uh, use it uh, much more than any other ones that I've used before. So to begin with, uh, you just go off onto Google and uh, you can just type in Jagannatha Hora over there. Hora. I think it should pop up by itself. Uh, you should go to this site called VedicAstrologer.org. I think it's from uh, PBR Nursingar Browser as well. So if you go into astrology, free software, it should be there. And uh, go ahead and check all the other things he has over there. Very informative. So yeah, you just go ahead and click on download over here. And uh, you should be able to get the software. And if you already have one version and you want to uh, get the latest one, I think 2018 was the last upload or a version release, 2016. Right? Yep. So once you download it, you will have this icon pop up after you start installing it and everything. So we'll go ahead and open the software. And uh, this is what it looks like. You have your charts to the left and uh, you have the information related to where the degrees of the planets are to the right, the longitude, and uh, which Pada and Nakshatra with the uh, Jaimini Karkars for each one. You have your uh, Titi and uh, Yogas which uh, are going with the Panchangam for the day you were born. And then you have your uh, to Warga to see how strong the house is and uh, the rating for it. And um, you have different charts over here. I've assigned it uh, to the ones I like, but I'll just go over a brief couple of things uh, how you can do it. First off, um, we'll input someone's chart. So we go into edit over here birth data or you can start off with a new one right here and then birth data uh, let's see i don't know i'm just thinking of uh, jim carrey i just saw this movie uh, called eternal sunshine of a spotless mind so that's the person that's coming to my mind right now time of birth you want to check the ratings as well, uh, the Rodden rating, what time he was born. Say it's 2.30 a.m. over here. So that's what we'll go with. Nineteen sixty-two, January 17th, okay. So... January 17th, 1962, 30, and uh, Ontario, Ontario, 
Australia, no, we can uh, drop down and see where the actual thing is. So this is in Canada, Ontario. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go, we have this chart. And uh, yeah, um, let me go over a basic uh, couple of things over here. I've set it up how I did it. I have the the Bamcha and the Rasi and the Pavachalit. And uh, if you want to go for other things, supposing you want the Bamcha, you just right click on this area and you'll have a list of options where you can browse through. And if you want to go for your D60 or higher things, you have them here as well. So you just click on those and it should be prompting you or it should be showing you, it'll show up. And uh, if you like uh, the North Indian style, uh, you have to go to preferences related to display, chart style and language. And now you'll find a drop down over here and say it's a North Indian diamond chart. You click OK. And um, everything should be in the North Indian style. And if you want to change the Ayanamcha, the Ayanamcha, the default is uh, True Larry, Chitra Paksha, which uh, I use, but uh, sometimes. Uh, a lot between this and uh, push your puncture as well and uh, there are a list of other options over here as well galactic center if you like to use the tropical system you can use that too they have the cyan puncture as well they have a uh, there's there's really a lot of options over here to to see what works best for you we'll go with uh, true larry right now and i will change this back to South Indian. Okay, now if you want the outer planets like Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto to, right now it shows you in the chart, but when you download it, I don't think you have that option set. So what you do is just you right click over here, go all the way to the bottom, chart, uh, choose a view, which body is to be shown. You have the standard view and you go optional bodies and standard view and you have a list of options over there you're in this neptune and pluto you should have all of these ticked we go in the point and a couple of other special lagna points you can see all this so once you have all that you will be all set over here and uh, chart selections if you want to go to higher divisions i don't think uh, people use this all that much but the options are available over there d144 d1.8 double navamsha so they're all here uh now coming to the bhava uh what you have to do is right click over here you get the bhava based on d1 and there are a lot of options in here too uh, Baba Chalit, uh, meaning the house placements. That means one planet can be in a sign, but then uh, depending on where the ascendant degree is, 15, side, 15 degrees on either side of the ascendant will form the first house. So it's an easier way to look at the house placements. You go to the Baba Chakra based on D1. You can do it for other Vargas as well. D9, D10, let's see D9. So we'll see the D9 over here. You see the Ascendant over here. And Sun, which you see is in the 11th house, goes actually into the 10th house in the D9. It's a different. Uh, I generally stick to the D1 at all, and then I'll see where the Navamsha placements as it is. But I'm just giving you the option and the outline how you can use it. And um, there's also another option in the Pava chart where supposing if you want to see it based on uh, taking the moon as the ascendant degree itself or choosing uh, the reference used for the Pava chart and use it as any planet basically. Here 
the general way is using the lug nut. But if you want to use the any other point like the moon, see where the houses lie from the moon. And that's how it is over there as well. It takes the moon as the ascendant and uh, calculates everything. Okay, so he has a very big stelium and uh, Sagittarius from the moon and, uh, sorry, in the eighth house from the moon. He's got a lot of six and eight axes going on, but uh, for the most part, there's a huge stelium and uh, Capricorn. So click this back and put this to the lug nut. And uh, if you want to see uh, related to calculations, planet calculation options, this is, you'll have a lot of options over here, true positions. And then uh, regarding the nodes, whether you want to use the true nodes or mean nodes, I use the mean nodes. It's a difference of one degree, but I think it makes a difference when you're looking at the uh, higher divisionals. D9 as well. But, uh, that's my option that I'll go for right there. You can change it to true nodes if you want to. And um, now coming to if you want to uh, see what yogas are manifesting in any chart, like uh, the D1 chart or D9, you simply go to strengths. This is a tab right next to basics. And You'll have the Ashtabharga scores and then other strengths. So you'll have all the yogas listed out, the uh, planets that are forming the yogas and a brief description of what it is right here. Supposing you want to see the yogas playing out in the D9, you just right click this and you'll have an option over there called select the Varga and then you click D9. There you go. So that's how you get the Vargas. And uh, there's also this thing of uh, the uh, Tajika, which is sort of like the transit. I think Tajika is a Persian name. And if you want to see the Punya Sahams or the Saham Lords, uh, what you do is you go back to the strats or you go back to the basics over here, the longitude and all the nakshatras that are displayed over here. There's a huge list over here. Many options. You right click on this and uh, you go to natal sahams. So you have the punya charm and all the other ones listed out over here. Megashira, first pile. So it's right where his moon is, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the, the figures he has uh, Jupiter exalted uh, in his uh, D9 in the fourth house. That's why uh, Jim Carrey be woke. All right. Uh, other things that you can do is uh, check the. Uh, Dasha's on the tab over here. You have the Bunshu 3 Dasha. You have other Dasha symptoms, systems over here, sorry. And uh, Rashi Dasha's based on which uh, sign is active. And you can go. A lot of levels in there. But the Antar Dasha, Antar Dasha, Deha, Antar Dasha, many. All right. Uh, these are the basics, what you can do with this. You have uh, many other options over here. It shows you the entire list of charts. Uh, and uh, you have different chakras over here, all the Chandra Kalana. So 
Is it this or Kala Chakra? Yeah, this shows you where the planets were according to the direction uh, in the nakshatras. What Titi was he born in? Shukla Trayadashi, 13th. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you for joining me.